Down this dimly lit corridor lies the home of the best policeman in Manila, or at least that's what the sign proclaims. It was also the former division of the gunmen that killed eight Hong Kong tourists. Senior Inspector Ramon de la Cruz worked with Rolando Mendoza for 23 years. He never thought he had the potential to kill. I never saw any signs of Captain Mendoza going through the psychological problems like we saw on Monday. When we worked together, he was a family man. He concentrated so much on his family. As forensic police examined the bus where Mendoza held the tourists hostage, the attention turned to the police themselves. The police have been coming under increasing criticism since the hostage crisis came to an end and the fact emerged that eight tourists had been killed inside the bus. Even Manila's police commander admitted that mistakes were made. Despite seemingly having several opportunities to shoot the gunman, it took them 12 hours to bring the situation to an end. Mendoza wanted his job back after he was sacked for a variety of charges. After gunfire was heard coming from inside the bus, officers began their assault. They clumsily smashed windows and made several attempts to open an emergency door. Eventually, they made it in. Mendoza had been shot by police. They were too late for eight of the passengers. The Philippine president sought to explain the decisions made by the police. It's also called the final option. And it is only warranted when there are um, there is actual harm about to be inflicted upon the hostages or already happening. No? Now, um, how can I be satisfied when there are people who died? No? But as you know, even in Russia, with their resources, their sophistication, when they had that um, theater uh, hostage-taking situation, the casualties were even more severe. A ceremony was held at the site of the deadly standoff. The government has promised a full investigation, a move welcomed by everyone, even the father of the disgruntled former policeman at the centre of it all. We are asking for help, especially the presidents. May everyone understand why my son was driven to this, by a case that was dismissed by the Philippines National Police and never heard. Until some answers are provided, Filipinos are left to reflect on another dark day in their history. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Manila.